Mabu, hi, this is Bob from Love Beyond the Sea. My channel is about marriage to a woman from the Philippines. I'm calling this Better to Give to Your Filipina Than to Receive. This comment from TikTok that you're welcome to uh, respond to says, and the, the article or the comment came from a video about the properness of the foreigner helping the Filipinas family. And there were like 300 comments. One of them was, it depends um, to extend support in case a family needs it. What is money in the eyes of the giver? That's what I want to focus on in this video. What is money in the eyes of the giver? And please subscribe here to Love Beyond the Sea. You're going to have to do a lot of giving to whomever you marry. It's just that when you marry a woman from the Philippines, the family does get involved. So what is money in the eyes of the giver? Well, we use money for good. If we're going to help somebody with money, it's to meet some kind of a need. And uh, we don't have to, we should do this for people, but we don't have to, you know, do it to everybody in the world or the neighborhood until we're broke. But there are people that need help and, you know, we should pick and choose there are blessings in giving. Money should be used wisely. Money is important. How you earn it is important. And using it properly can make or break us. There are only so many ways to get money. As far as the Bible is concerned, the main way is to work. You have a job and work hard and do it for a long time. Another way is to inherit money. Somebody, a family member, passes and inherits money, uh, gifts money to you through an inheritance. And so you have money that way. Another way is to invest from your earnings. And uh, that can pay off handsomely over the decades. And another way is to receive money in the form of a gift. And when it comes to marrying someone from the Philippines, then uh, you should be prepared, as I've said many times, to help out certain family members that your Philippine wife thinks are important for her to support. Namely, that's mama and papa, and occasionally some you know, birthday gifts for the, the nieces and nephews. But that's something to talk about. But money is important, and you shouldn't be throwing around money loosely because that's unwise and it's hurtful. So it is important. So be careful when you give money to somebody. The, you're trying to better better them, not uh, enable them. Let me get this screen going there. The Bible says it's um, better to give than to receive. I'm pretty sure that's a a Bible verse. And I know for sure the Bible says, give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over. So giving results in receiving more, more fulfilling ways than, you know, what we are losing. And so it's good to give. And it's good to help your Filipina's wife or Filipinas family, because if you're a Christian, you need to believe God will bless you for it. Maybe in the form of a, a really tight marriage, it may be in some other financial way that God blesses you, but he does. And there's probably many other verses in the Bible on the benefits of giving. And certainly we don't want to be stingy. So the question here, they say, what is the money in the eyes of the giver? And I, I don't know if they're being serious or, or somewhat, you know, unserious. Um, foreigners do not, are not loaded with money usually. And so if they do give money, you know, it is something where they can't use it for something else. And it is important. And let's say that the foreigner is loaded. That still doesn't mean he can just willy nilly give money to a Filipinas family it still should be used in the right way that can be good for the, the beneficiary of that money. Now, if 
that's a family and they often stop working after 55 or 60. There's no really good, you know, social security system out there. You know, it makes perfect sense for her to want to help her family and you can help her with, with certain gifts and just, you know, make sure your Filipina is up on the finances so she knows this, how much of a sacrifice it is and that you want to make sure that it actually helps them and doesn't encourage laziness. Money is important. And I just want to be perfectly clear. There's no virtue in just giving money away for no good reason, just for the sake of being generous or because it makes her happy. You don't want to throw around money. You don't want to waste it. That's one reason I'm against gambling. I didn't mention, you know, gambling earnings here as a way to earn wealth because that's you're being taken advantage of by gambling in the first place. And the only one you're hurting is yourself. And the Bible doesn't promise any godly blessing on you for using God's money and in a game of chance. Having money is important. Using it money the right way does matter. This isn't a frivolous thing. But still, I think it's important um, to be able to use money as a gift once in a while to help your love beyond the sea.